Okay, this is Adam coming at you on the 1000 Articat. Okay, so this wheel bearing is bad, so we done pulled the wheel, of course, and the cotter key got that out of there. Pulled the cotter key out of the steering arm. Um, the bolts for the knuckle is a ten, half inch? Yeah, half inch. So, had a half inch there. Um, took the bolts out of the back of the caliper there. Pried the caliper up. Set it up there out of the way for the time being. Um, and you'll need a... Well, 30 fits pretty good on the center one there. So, you'll need a 30. Uh to take the nut off here and then we'll pull these off okay give me a second all right so give me one second here and i'll get her loose there okay so she was a little bit a little bit tighter than what i thought Okay, so that is off. All right, so now we're free right there from the axle. We can pull this off. Like this. So, the next thing we need to do is we need to get these bolts out. Well, actually take the steering knuckle the rest of the way loose. Nah, don't run or what size it was uh 11 sixteenths okay so give me one second here all right well i had to change it around all the way to the end of the threads she's out pop that off All them look in pretty good shape, so we ain't gonna mess with them. They're just a little bit dry rotted, but it'll be all right. Um, okay, now we need to take the ball joint uh, keeper bolts out, which is a half inch. Oh, in case you didn't know, Milwaukee fuel. It's lovely. All right, so take that out. First project with the new Milwaukee tools here. And it's absolutely little powerhouses there. All right, so now we need to get the knuckle and them separated from each other. So let me get my dead boy, I'll be right back. All right, so we got the bottom one loose there. Top one's loose. This is what I thought. So the, move some of this stuff, sorry. But anyway, so, oh, perfect. That's the easiest I've ever seen one of them come off here. I mean, the ones on the Grizzly, man, that thing was a freaking bear to get off. Uh huh, bear. Anyway, so yeah, that was your inside race for your wheel bearing. It was completely bun fazzled there. So now we got to get this all cleaned up, get this bearing pressed out. Gotta go down the road to get this pressed out over at my buddy's shop. So we'll get that pressed out, and I mean the axles, ever all the boots and everything are good on the axles, so I don't think we've got nothing to worry about about that. But uh, so this was disassembly of the front on a 2008 
Articat 1000. We got to do wheel bearings up front because they're shot or hub bearings, whatever you want to call them. The seals on all the front end look fine. The bushings look good. The ball joints are decent, so we ain't gonna mess with them at the moment. But uh, we'll definitely keep cruising along here and get this pulled apart and get back with you. That's how you disassemble it and continue on from here. Sweet. Like I said, this is Adam, and if you like these videos, like and subscribe. And I'll do one of these on video so y'all can see them. I gotta do all four of them, so there's plenty of opportunities there for video. But if you like the video, like it. If you want to watch as I build this thing go along, um, subscribe. But yeah, I mean, so far everything else looks like it's in pretty good shape on it. Just this wheel bearing was seized up, and the back one on this side at the wheel was off when we picked it up. That one there. It was uh, also seized up pretty bad. I finally got to break loose a little bit, but it does not sound healthy. All right, well, this is tear down of the front end. How to get this off. So, uh, enjoy the video. This is Adam. Y'all have a great day.